All right, let's look at another example of a word problem using system of equations. It says here in example number three, a rectangular soccer field has a perimeter of 320 yards. Its length measures 40 yards more than its width. What are the dimensions? So what are we trying to find here? Well, we're trying to find the length and the width. We need to make sure that we label those with different variables. You could use x and y, but then you have to remember which one you called the width and with which one you called the length, so be careful with that. I'm going to go ahead and use w for width and l for length. That way I don't get confused. All right, and because we have two variables, w and l, it's impossible to solve for w or l if we only have one equation. So we need to make sure that we have two equations, a system of equations, with both an l and a w in it. So we've got to look back at this problem and figure out what two kind of ideas do they give us in this problem that incorporate length and width. Okay, well if you look at the first sentence, it says it's a rectangle, right? The field is a rectangle and it has a perimeter. So if you can imagine a rectangle and we have length, width, length, width, and we know that perimeter means around the outside. So we do length plus width plus length plus width. So I can actually make an equation that says that. I can say that the perimeter is length plus width plus length plus width. Or could I say perimeter equals two lengths plus two widths? And do we know anything about the perimeter? Well, yeah, it says in the first sentence that the perimeter is, two, uh, is 320 yards. So I can actually plug in 320 to my perimeter. So now I actually have the first equation already. I have 320 equals 2L plus 2W. I have included my L and my W in one equation all about perimeter. So is there a second idea that it talks about in this problem that has to deal with length and width? Well, if you look at the second sentence, it says its length measures, or can I say is, 40 yards more than its width? And as soon as I see that word or interpret that word is, I can use the equal to sign, right? So the length, L, is equal 40 more than the width. Well, then I'm going to do 40 plus w, or w plus 40. And so I have my second equation with a length and a width, and it incorporates all the information in my word problem. So there's my system of equations. Really, that's to me the hardest part, is getting set up. Once we have it set up, then we've practiced so much doing our substitution and elimination. Hopefully the rest of this will be easier. So now that I have this system of equations, you can use either method, whatever you prefer. I'm probably going to use substitution on this one since this equation is already solved for L. I'm going to take that, I'm going to substitute it into my first equation and give me my new equation of 320 equals 2 times W plus 40 plus 2W. I substituted in the W plus 40 in for my L. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 2 through my parentheses. That gave me 320 equals 2w plus 80 plus 2w. I notice that I have a 2w and a 2w on the same side of the equal to sign, so I should be able to combine like terms. That gave me a 4w plus 80 on that side. Now I only have one w, one variable in my equation, and I can isolate that variable. I'm going to subtract 80 to both sides of the equation. I'm going to divide both sides by 4 and I ended up getting w equals 60. Remember, w meant the width, so I can really say that the width is 60, and what would my units be? 60 yards, right? But it's not just asking me for the width, it's asking me for the length, too. So if I know that the width is 60 yards, how can I find the length? Well, a couple different ways. We can go back to our original equation, and we can plug in 60 for w and figure out what l is or what the length is. If I plug in 60 for w and add 40 to it, I end up getting the length is 100. That means the width is 60 yards and the length is 100 yards. So making sure that you label it appropriately. If you decided to use x and y, you need to make sure that you then tell us what is x. Is that the length or is that the width? Okay. Again, you can also double check that that answer is right by plugging them back into the other equation. If you plug in a 100 here and a 60 here, do you end up getting 320? Well, 2 times 100 is 200, right? And 2 times 60 is 120. Well, 200 plus 120 is 320. So I know I got the right answer. I've set it up right, I've solved it correctly, and I've given my answer labeled correctly.